Ever pondered over the difference between binary and source code exploitation? Welcome to the intriguing world of tech exploitation, a realm where hackers and defenders constantly duel for supremacy. Here, two prevalent forms of exploitation exist, binary, which involves manipulating a program's compiled code, and source code exploitation, where a hacker targets the original human-readable code. Each carries its unique set of challenges and rewards. In this video, we'll dissect both these forms of exploitation, giving you a clear understanding of each. First up, binary exploitation. What exactly is it? Well, in the simplest terms, binary exploitation is a type of attack that targets an application's binary code. That's the compiled software, the final product that machines read and execute. Now, imagine a tightly woven fabric. That's your binary code. Binary exploitation is like finding loose threads in this fabric and pulling at them, causing the entire structure to unravel and behave in ways it wasn't designed to. For instance, a hacker may manipulate the binary code to bypass security measures or gain unauthorized access. They might alter the way a program functions or exploit a bug to crash the system. It's a game of finding vulnerabilities in the compiled code and taking advantage of them. So, binary exploitation is all about playing with the compiled code. But how does source code exploitation differ? Let's find out. Now on to source code exploitation. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Imagine a blueprint of a high-tech gadget. The blueprint is the source code. It's readable, it's modifiable, and it's the very foundation of our hypothetical gadget. In the same way, every software application has its own blueprint. It's source code. Source code exploitation, then, is like an attack on this blueprint. It's all about identifying vulnerabilities in the source code itself and exploiting them. Let's say, for instance, there's a loophole in the blueprint that allows unwanted access to the gadget's control system. That's a vulnerability. And if someone takes advantage of this loophole, that's exploitation. In the digital realm, these vulnerabilities could be anything from a poorly implemented security measure to a simple coding error. Exploiting these could lead to unauthorized access, data theft, and even complete system control. So, source code exploitation targets the very foundation of an application, its source code. But how do these two compare? Stay tuned. Now that we've got a grasp on both binary and source code exploitation, it's time to put them side by side. Binary exploitation and source code exploitation, two of the most common strategies employed by hackers, both have their unique merits and drawbacks. Let's dive into their differences in approach, complexity, and impact. Binary exploitation plays its game at a lower level, dealing directly with machine code. It's like breaking into a house by tinkering with the lock mechanism itself. It's a more complex approach as it requires a deep understanding of computer architecture and assembly language. This complexity, however, is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can make for a more challenging task for hackers, but on the other, it can result in more potent attacks when successful. In contrast, source code exploitation operates at a higher level, targeting flaws in the code that software developers write. It's akin to finding a hidden key under the doormat. This approach is generally less complex, as it's more straightforward to understand the intent of human-written code than machine code. However, the impact of these exploits can vary greatly, from minor bugs to severe security breaches, depending on the nature of the flaw exploited. Each approach presents its unique challenges. For binary exploitation, the challenge lies in the complexity of the task, needing a deep understanding of the intricate workings of a computer. For source code exploitation, the challenge is often in finding the flaw in the first place, which can be like finding a needle in a haystack. However, they also come with their own advantages. Binary exploitation, with its high complexity, can lead to potent attacks that are hard to defend against. Source code exploitation, on the other hand, can allow for a broader range of attacks as it targets flaws in the logic of the code itself. So whether it's binary or source code exploitation, each has its own set of challenges and opportunities. But one thing's for sure, understanding these concepts is key to securing your software. That was quite a journey into the world of exploitation, wasn't it? To sum up, 
we've delved into the unique nuances of binary and source code exploitation. Binary exploitation, with its intricate manipulation of machine code, contrasts sharply with source code exploitation where vulnerabilities are found within the original code itself. Understanding these forms of exploitation is a vital part of navigating our tech-saturated world. Remember, in the world of technology, knowledge is your greatest weapon. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.